Hello ethical hackers and security enthusiasts. In this video, we're going to set up an Active Directory lab with a domain controller, a Windows server and a Windows 10. So let's get started. For those of you who have stumbled upon this video, welcome to the Hackerish YouTube channel where you can find content about ethical hacking, bug bounty hunting and how to become a better ethical hacker. Those who know me already know how much I love automation. For example, when you get the free hacking lab, it's just a matter of simple commands you can run to spin up an entire lab for you to practice web application hacking. I found this GitHub project, AD Lab from L above, which is essentially a vagrant file which defines a set of machines in VirtualBox. There's the domain controller, which is a Windows 2019, a Windows Server machine based on Windows 2019, a Windows Workstation based on Windows 10, a Ubuntu joined to the domain based on Ubuntu, and another outside machine based on Ubuntu as well. And from there, it configures remote info for Ansible to be able to communicate with those machines. And then there are a set of roles which are used to deploy configuration using Ansible. For example, we have a domain controller, which is comprised of a set of tasks. For example, we set a host name, we reboot, and we verify that we have a user named administrator with this password, not the strongest password out there. Here we have Windows domain controller configuration with all the relevant parameters. So this sounds good. It's only a matter of using Vang Vagrant up to spin up the machines, download the Windows and Ubuntu images and setting them up in VirtualBox and then Ansible Playbook to configure those machines to be part of the domain. Unfortunately, I didn't make it work. I tried it on Mac, Windows and Ubuntu and this configuration for remoting didn't work the script in Vagrant file, this line here always threw an error. So what I did was clone this repository and use only the Vagrant file to download the images and set them up in VirtualBox. I changed the windows from 2019 to 16 because this worked well in my VirtualBox, otherwise it didn't show up in my virtual box, which is kind of weird. And then I just need to remove this line. We don't want to provision anything on those machines. And I only kept the Windows workstation, Windows server and the domain controller. I don't need any other Linux machines. If you don't have Vagrant, then you can just go ahead to www.vagrantup.com and download the flavor corresponding to your operating system. Once that's done, all you have to do is run CD to the GitHub repository that you just cloned and then Vagrant up and it should start fetching and configuring the machines for you. It will take some time depending on your internet connection. So maybe go grab a cup of coffee and come back later. All right, it has finished. All the machines are up and running and we can see them here. These are the three machines, domain controller, the Windows server, and the Windows workstation. So the first thing is to promote this computer to a domain controller. So right click and choose show. I don't want to perform any manual tasks, so I'm going to use PowerShell. If you are not familiar with PowerShell, you can pretty much do anything you want with it. I've prepared some commands. The first one is to install the Active Directory domain services features. First of all, we need to make sure that we run as administrator and then paste the command. All right, now that we have the tools available, next we will define a password for the safe mode. That's just a safe mode for when you want to restore the Active Directory, and then we will use the password that we've provided to create a, a new forest with those parameters. Now the domain name would be, in my case, th.local. You can name it whatever you want. And the domain name, name would be thlocal. Let's paste that right in. So it complains that the local administ administrator doesn't have a strong password. 
In fact, its password is now blank. So what we need to do is reset the password to something strong. So we can use something like net user. Then retry the same command as before. And now it's working. And now you can see that we have the domain th.local. So now we will go to our Windows server and add it to the domain. So what I will do is configure the DNS server for the private network ethernet adapter. And I need to point that to the domain controller. And next, I'm going to join this computer to the domain, change the settings, and choose a Win server as the name of this computer. Let's use the administrator to join, to join this computer to the domain and restart the computer. Let's do the same thing for our Windows workstation. You can go to Control Panel, Network, and Sharing Center, and then you choose the Ethernet to adapter and properties, then IPv4, and you should add the domain controller's IP address in the DNS. So now let's do the same thing, change the domain to th.local and the name to win10. Let's use the administrator to join this computer to the domain. And so if we go to computers and refresh, we should see that we have Windows 10 and Win Server. Now, if I want to log into this computer, I need a user account. So let's define a new user. We don't want to change the password and it never expires. And now we can go to our Windows server and connect as that user. For that, I need to change to other user, make sure I am signing to the TH local domain, and then use our user one with the password. And just like that, you are connected as the domain user that we've defined on the domain controller to the Windows server. Now we can do the same on the Windows 10 machine, and we will once again, log in to this machine using the user one account. So from here, we will explore ways to enumerate the domain and try to figure out ways to escalate our privileges and perform lateral movement. But that should be a good start if you want to start practicing Active Directory hacking on your local machine. We will build upon this lab in future videos to explore ways to abuse Active Directory vulnerabilities and learn along the way. Once you are satisfied with your current setup, you can go to your terminal and just type vagrant suspend and it should suspend all the machines. All right, now that they are saved and you want to come back later and continue hacking the Active Directory on the lab, all you have to do is just CD to your directory where you have the Git repository and then run Vagrant Resume, and that should do it. So in the next videos, we will continue from here and explore ways to enumerate and hack the Active Directory to ultimately become, at the end of this playlist, a domain administrator. If you found this content helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel so that you get updates whenever I publish a new video on ethical hacking and bug bounty hunting. If you're new to hacking and want to learn the basics, check out the free OWASP Top 10 Theory and Hands-on training on thehackerish.com and apply your knowledge on the lab which supports it. If you enjoy learning with videos, I invite you to watch the OWASP Top 10 YouTube playlist. However, I encourage you to first try to solve the lab exercises so that you don't spoil them. Don't forget that there are supporting blog posts for most of the videos you watch on this YouTube channel. I also encourage you to subscribe to the Friday newsletter on thehackerish.com to gain some new hacking knowledge at the end of the week. If you enjoy listening while doing other things at the same time, check out the Hack for Fun and Profit podcast, link in the description box. Until next time, stay curious, keep learning, and go find some bugs.